initial prompt was write about a community or something that's home to you, but isn't your physical home. Just an average Sunday morning. I can hear the stairs speak as my mom comes up to wake me. First decision of the day. Do I get up now so that she doesn't sing to me, or suffer through it for those few more precious seconds? <laughs> Hearing the door not turn, I forcibly roll myself out of bed. The door opens, the light is turned on, and I grunt as some sort of way to signify I'm up. After the shower and brief breakfast, my mom and I get into the car. The church pulls into view, and I know that I'm safe. At least for now. My mom interrogating me while I cry. <laughs> Exiting the parked car, I head for the choir room. Entering, Jeff greets me. I take my morning discontented frown and fake the energy needed for a smile. This smile has to hold for the rest of the morning. And luckily, after a while, I no longer need to fake it. It becomes genuine. We all sit down in our choir queue in our sections after passing the regular readings. Our bright and happy conductor gives us good morning. For warmers. As warmers continue through to the anthem, I take the time to look around and see all the people that I've been singing with for the past five years. They have been the only ones to hear me sing until this year. It brings me joy knowing they have supported me from when I was young, obnoxious, and inexperienced to now. I have I've never had a son without them. After practice, there are 15 minutes before service starts. I go to get water and use the restroom before claiming a cue. The clock says 10.30, so pass your day against announcements. My dad and sister walk in right in the dot as usual, shuffling their way over to me. Then the music starts. There's nothing quite like it. The music lets me settle in and relax. No matter what happened the previous week or what stresses away, the music comforts me. The service progresses to the sermon, and the sermon is a toss-up. It will either be entertaining, relatable, and didactic, or, as my younger self might add, just boring. <laughs> it's looking like it will be the latter, in which case I have time to reflect. I remember the people of the last ten years whom I have met in the same space. The encouragement everyone has given me, how much they have allowed me to grow and mature, telling me to follow my ambitions no matter where they lead. Music notifies me that the sermon is over and that service is moving on, the passing of the peace. The time of the morning when we all get up and join a hug fest. It's a great experience because no one is excluded. Even new people who may have walked in from the street are embraced and welcomed. This is when the choir gets ready to sing the anthem. After the last hug has separated, we stand silently waiting for the piano. Singing, all the tension and stress I hold just melts away. This is when I give back to the congregation. I share my voice and they share their love. And this sounds really weird, of course, and won't be spoken about to my friends. But in the church, it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's no judgment, just care, as we support each other as individuals and as a community. And even though I didn't want to get out of bed this morning, 